Hi there, Aries. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I will be doing your June 2017 general reading. If it turns out to be a love reading, so be it. Um, this this may or may not resonate with all of you. If it does not, check your rising sign or your moon sign. If you are interested in a private reading, you can find the contact info below. Um, dear Spirits, Guides, Universe, and God, what does Aries need to see for the month of June? What does Aries need to hear? What do you have for Aries? For the month of June 2017. reversed. Okay, so the overall energy of the reading is the King of Swords, which is you. This is a fire sign, um, and it basically, that's great that it came out in the reading, so this is you. Um, Looks like you have the judgment card during the first week, so it looks like you, um, you're so close, you're so close to the end, you're so close to the end of a journey, of a chapter, but you just haven't, um, you're just not letting it happen for some reason this is of your own doing you're so close to the end of a chapter but you will not let it happen you are resisting it okay you're resisting a an ending okay and it's because you um you're too focused on material you're too focused on materialistic things and i think this came up for you for the end of may so I think that uh, in the first week of June that you are starting to uh, think differently, okay? You want this new beginning, but in order for you to get to the next chapter, you need to change your ways as far as finances go. You need to change your ways as far as, as, far as all that you've... Um, it's not stability because you're very stable. But you need to change your ways as far as materialistic things go and money goes. I think that you have been saving it up, saving it up, saving it up. And perhaps have missed out on some other opportunities. Um, so the beginning of June, I think that you are going to... Um, start realizing start realizing what life is all about and it's not about material because you're starting to move away from the material aspects of who you used to be um i think you're starting on a new path a new journey but it's really hard because this is what you're used to so the beginning of june you're going to be concentrating on changing your ways um and per and you perhaps you are letting go of um, I think we had this in your last reading too. You're letting go of your ego. Your ego is diminishing your, your, um, the chip has fallen off your shoulder. So the first week of June, you're feeling like, I'm going to change. I'm ready for this. I'm, I'm going to change. Um, 
and you're going to focus more on love than money. But um, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy because this is what you're used to. You're used to materialistic things. You're very materialistic and you're trying to let it go. You're trying to let it go. You're trying to share it. You're trying to not think of it that way. You're trying to think about love, but there's still resistance. You're still resisting it. It's a choice between money or love. Um, okay, so towards the second week, um, it looks like you are being... Somebody is bringing you some good news towards the second week. You're being brought some uh, good news regarding... Um, Love, regarding love, regarding um, emotional support. You're being offered some good news, um, a gift, um, a gift of love. I see that coming in. And perhaps you will be emotional. You're going to be pretty emotional um, the second week, the beginning of the second week, because you're just going to be overwhelmed, I think. I think that you're, you're just going to be overwhelmed. Um... But you're gonna you're gonna be someone is gonna offer you love and you're gonna feel like oh, this is your wish come true, this is your dream come true, this is what you wanted. All you wanted was that that uh comfort, okay? She's very comfortable, she's naked, she's not ashamed. And I think that the second week you're not gonna be ashamed of who you are. You're going to feel very, um, what's the word? Your self-worth is going to be on high. I mean, and by the second week, I think that you're going to be loving yourself. You're going to, somebody's going to be offering you love. Um, you're going to think that you made the right decision. Whichever decision you made, you're going to feel emotionally content and you're going to feel very comfortable with your decision. You're just at ease. No worries whatsoever. The universe has your back. The universe guided you in this decision. And you feel like you... Um, you feel like everything meshes pretty well. You feel pretty good the second week. This is your, your wishes. Um, wishes fulfilled. Okay, so you're offered some love, and but and you feel like your wishes are fulfilled. This is towards the beginning of the second week. By the end of the second week, you're feeling wounded, so it it changes drastically. So there's an offer, a message of love, a message of emotional support, and you're feeling um completely at ease, like you're not ashamed. Your wishes have been fulfilled. Thank you, God. But you're still weary. You're still, hmm, what's up? This, is this too good to be true? This is, this has hurt me in the past. I've been hurt in this, from this in the past. I mean, is this too good to be true? So the second week you're feeling like, hmm, hmm, you know, like when you're looking at somebody in the corner of your eye, like, hmm. So that's what you're going to be thinking by the end of the second week. Hmm, is this too good to be true? And by the beginning of the third week, we have the Queen of Wands reversed. This is a fire sign, um, which is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And this woman is... Um, let me think for a second. I'm trying to think what this means for you. Please, I'm trying to wait for it to come to me. There's a June bug in the window. I apologize. And the cat thinks it's a toy. Um, so this woman is... upset. She's upset with you. And she can get angry and she yells the third week. She yells. She's... Uh, um, outspoken. 
she's outspoken the third week okay so this she's outspoken she is um unique okay she's unique I'm trying to stop the cat from jumping on the table um Yeah, so the third week, it looks like this woman is it playing a big part in your life. We will have to get some clarifiers on that. Um, it looks like you're going to be walking away. Like you're going to be walking away from... Uh, or you're thinking about walking away from a situation or leaving a situation behind. Perhaps you feel like leaving everything behind. You're just like, you know what? I just soon get out of here with the clothes on my back and be done. And now this doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be anything. I mean, but you, I think you're going to be leaving something behind, behind for a opportunity, a new opportunity. Um, I think it's a new, a new passion. I think that you're going to leave something behind. You're going to leave um, misery behind. And because this is kind of miserly. Um, she can be quite. Um, what's the word? Miserable. I mean, she can be quite miserable. Um, and I think that. You are seriously, by the third week, considering leaving it all behind, being like, you know what, I, I don't even need this anymore. And just not giving any notice, leaving without notice. Could be a job, okay? Um, but leaving without giving a notice. It's to, to, on a quest for a new opportunity, a new opportunity, a new passion, a new love, a new desire. So you're going to leave something behind. Um, for a new opportunity by the end of the third week, okay? A new opportunity to do something or for love. So it, regarding something you love. Um, the fourth week, it looks like you're losing sleep over it. You're like, oh my God, you know, is this really the right decision? Is this the right decision? You just don't even know. By the fourth week, you're like, huh, wow. But the thing is, is it's almost over. This is a nine tennis completion. So it looks like you're really, really close to being done with the drama that's been in your life. Okay? But it has played a huge part in your um, thoughts. Okay? It's really taken a toll. You're very worried. You're very worried, and I think this fourth week you're even more worried. You're just like, huh, man, is this the right decision? Because if I do this, I might not have the security that I used to have. Or I might end up spending my savings or whatever. Um, <clears throat> so here it looks like we have... Um, we have the three of cups. So this is a, this can be a celebration. It can be with three people. It can be three people supporting you, um, and you celebrating your, um, your new passion, your new journey. I mean, there's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of emotion here. So this is an emotional reading. It looks like you're, you've been emotionally, um, distraught. You have. You've been very worried about something. And now by the fourth week, it looks like you might celebrate your choice, okay? You might make, have a celebration um, of some sort. We're going to get clarifiers anyway. So in this, at the very end of the fourth week, is the magician. So this one is a new beginning. <laughs> by the end of the fourth week, you are going to celebrate because you've made that choice and you do have all the resources to excel. You have everything you need to get where you need to be. You do. Mind, body, spirit, 
uh, stability, emotional stability. By the end of the fourth week now, your emotions are going to be in check. You're going to let go. Let go of all this worry and move on, okay? Maybe that's what you're going to do with the help of three other people. With the help of maybe the guidance, maybe the emotional support, I'm not sure, but with the help of three other people. Or two other people, not three, two other people, because you're one of these people. So you're, you're going to let go of this anguish. And you're going to use your inner um, mind, body, mind, body, and spirit. And all the resources from your past, everything that you've learned, you're going to pull it all together and uh, start your new journey. Number one is a new beginning. By the end of June, something new is going to start, completely new, that you can handle 100%. Now let's get some clarifiers. Looks like you're definitely going to walk away. Upright, she's feeling chained. Uh, reverse, she's walking away. She's walking away. She's leaving something behind, okay, Aries? You're going to leave something behind. Before, and you've got two new opportunities. There's definitely a new opportunity, okay? So it's up to you whether you're going to take it. This is an awakening, okay? Um, you're going to feel sharper, clearer. Um, wiser and your emotions are going to be start to be in check there's a new opportunity for love and communication for love and clearer communication for, for love and um, clear communication, clarity within yourself. I mean, clear communication, what I'm trying to say is, and this happens to me a lot, so bear with me, um, clarity. So you got two new opportunities by the end of the third week. Clarity is going to come to you. That's what this is. You're going to get clarity. You're going to walk away. Um... And when you do, you're going to follow your passion. You're going to follow your love. And this is God intervening, okay? Or, or the universe, whichever you prefer. It's a higher power offering you a gift. This is clearness. This is clarity. This is sharpness. This is love. This is emotion. This is intimacy. So you have some pretty big opportunities towards the end end of the third week of June. Should you free yourself, you have to free yourselves. But, okay, your emotions are overwhelming and you might be a little um, impatient because this is reverse. You might be a little impatient by Okay, you're being offered this by the end of the third week. The beginning of the fourth week, you're thinking, Oh my God, I am ready now. Okay, I'm ready now. I don't want to wait anymore. And you may be feeling impatient because you've made some changes. That's why you're worrying. You're like, oh, No, I hope I didn't make the wrong decision. Please tell me I didn't. And you want to make sure to keep your cool and to have confidence, okay? Have confidence. Up here, she has the confidence to tame that lion when it's upright. When it's reversed, she's not very confident. Okay? She's not. She's not. Um, when it's reversed, she doesn't have the strength that she needs. Okay. So, it looks like it was not an impulsive decision. By the end, see, when this guy's impulsive. He's not impulsive. So reversed, he's not impulsive. So it looks like you have seriously, seriously thought about this. It's a big, big decision. And by the end of June, it looks like you're going to make your decision and start the new journey. That's what I see. 
And we're going to do a couple of these. This is going to be for the first week of June. Two clarifies, pliers, <laughs> two clarifiers for the first week of June for Aries. Intuition. Follow your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting, which is perfect that I put it right up here because that's what this is all about. This is what it's all about. And you are. You are. You're certainly thinking about it carefully. Like, way too much. And here, you're, you're like, comparing. Comparing. Comparing love over money. All right, and four of wands or four of fire, contentment, peace, abundance, happy home life, the successful completion of a project. Now, this was reversed when I pulled it out. So you you haven't been content. You haven't felt peaceful and abundant. Um, you haven't had a happy home life. So there hasn't been a completion, a successful completion of a project or a passion so the first week you're starting to realize that which we already talked about the first week of june you're starting to realize changes need to be made okay the first week you're starting to you're starting to click all right so we need a couple clarifiers for the second week okay another ace so that's great opportunities are being offered to you and you may not even be seeing them but you are being offered opportunities be alert pay attention okay so the second week seven of cups I don't know if you know what this means in the other decks but it means that you have a lot of options a lot of choices a complex decision the need to do research stop procrastinating we talked about that too in other words um, not being impulsive um, You've been thinking a lot, thinking, 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 thinking. So, and this is about, I believe this is about a new career path. I mean, that's what I think it's about. Could be about a, a relationship. Um, some will, some will be a relationship. Some will be a career path. Um, I think it's a, it's a life path. I think it's a um, next chapter. I really do. I think it's a, it's a completely next chapter. So it's a. You know, something is, it's a big, major change. That's what I see. Um, so the second week, you, it's time to start really make the decision. You're starting to see the first week. The second week, you're starting to make the decision. Ace of Fire. An exciting new opportunity. Career advancement. Change your life now. Okay. So it's reversed. All right. So the, op the thing is with aces, is they're always good, always good, even if it's reversed, okay? There's a delay. There's a delay. So I believe this is about career, considering this, this one again says career advancement. So there's a delay because you... You can't decide what you want. You can't decide what you want. Now, is it about the money or is it about passion? So the thing is, that, and I'm sure you've already heard this in your lifetime, you're most happiest at a position that you're passionate about. And so that's what I'm getting. I'm feeling like you're doing something that you're not passionate about. may pay very well. may pay well. Or... Um, you may feel very secure in the position. You may feel like, you know, you could work there and retire there. But you really want to do something else, okay? Your passion is someplace else. So that's what your decision is. Is it money or passion? That's what your decision is. So there's a delay. The opportunity is there. But there, there's a delay with this reversed up here, okay? There's a delay. We're going to do one for the third week and one for the fourth week. 
Okay, so for the third week we have the Ten of Pentacles, another completion, okay? A very happy family life. Now this is reversed, so it's not so happy during the third week. Um, you don't feel f financially secure. You don't because you're thinking about moving away from the, fin the big money to trace your passion, okay? And so you're feeling like, oh no, I might not be financially secure all this, you know, or maybe this has already happened and now it's just hitting home. Um, what you need to do during the third week is look at what other opportunities, okay? And here we go. You want to choose your passion or would you rather... This is like, this is ego based. This is, this is, this swords are about thoughts. Okay. So which one do you want? This one or this one? Which opportunity do you want? Or do you want to use them both together? Because you can, you can use them both together. Um, so in the third week, it's about, I mean, you're still making decisions. You're still making decisions. So it's going to be a, a, uh, interesting month and I think this is totally totally work career related okay and in the fourth week um, the wheel this is confirmation that you're making the right decision whatever decision you make will be the right one this is a major life change I've already just said that as well a time of positive change a situation sudden suddenly moves forward fortune is on your side isn't that what you wanted to hear so it's another completion so there's a lot of completion here and there's a lot of new opportunity it's all up to you as to what you want do you want to spin the wheel and follow your passion or do you want to stay up here where you're comfortable. That's what I have for you, Aries. Good luck.